Gap Industrials controlled by Steinhoff and owns PG Bison and Unitrans. Yep, so PG Bison is like a wood processing business, but Unitrans is a proper logistics operation. You'll have seen those trucks around. They've got lots and lots of contracts, also a bit of motor retail in there. This group is substantial and it is, of course, as Bronwyn mentioned, controlled in effect by Steinhoff, which you've reversed some of these assets into the listed entity. Market cap 15.9 billion rand, dividend yield of 2.29 and price to earnings ratio 16.4. Well, you know we've disclosed already <laughs> that we've sold it. You, I think, recommended the buy. Yeah. We went in at what, 550 you said? Something like that, and it's currently trading at about 650. So it was a star performer, and the earnings uptick that Warren, uh, that uh, Rowan was looking for certainly came yeah. to how, us. How are we out too soon? Yeah, I think there's still uh, a lot of potential in this business. It's grown to be a, a decent-sized mid-cap part of the, the broader Steinhoff stable got a very strong management team there. They've done a fair amount with their portfolio as well. Uh, they, the Restonic acquisition, which is starting to bear fruit. So they sort of have a focus betting uh, business. Their, their results were also impacted by uh, the, the decline in the furniture sector, obviously, um, with African Bank and Ellerines. But I think that's in the past now. They're looking forward. They're making a number of investments in the various divisions, in the sort of wood processing part of the business, adding value. They're starting to expand into Africa. Unitrans, also a very solid performer. And so nice and focused, de-gearing, doing all the right things, and really 19% earnings growth, just below sort of that 20% where they'd have to update the market. Very solid performer. And there's the good-looking share price graph. Yeah, so the management team led by Joe Grevier, who was long with the Unitrans group doing a super job. And I mean, this is one of those cases again, where a company does a lot of very significant reorganization in terms of its number of shares in issue, its capital base, its assets, and it takes a while for the market to readjust and work out where the correct earnings base is. We've got to go to hot or not? I remain hot. Oh, hush. Yep, <laughs> and I say you can be hot on it. Why not? Because uh, the fact that we did a bit of slimming down is no indication that the business is not hot. So still hot. Yeah, we've got yeah. a double hot there. And